That is so sad. I know. What the fuck like, happened? How did he get the way he was when What's we approaching? met him? Hey guys! Hello everybody, it's the Normies and we're back to watch ReZero Season 2, Episode 17, A Journey Through Memories. Ooh. Ooh, whose memories is we gonna see? I hope it's Amelia. <laughs> Amelia's in the trial, so it should be Amelia. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that would make the most sense. <laughs> Although Please. we've, um, <laughs> you think we'll see Puck again? I don't know, she kind of was like, when she helped Subaru in the last episode, she's like, this is the only time I'm helping right now, dude, like... Yeah. yeah, like I made peace with my goodbyes. Do you, yeah. do you think we might finally get answers on like why those people were frozen? Or did we ever get those answers already? No, I think I'm hoping we will get it today. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Things are things are heating up. We're getting um, a lot of info uh in the past few episodes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and she was having that conversation with, with a kid. I know, that's where we left mm -hmm. off. I'm like yeah. I'm I'm kinda scared they're just gonna give us a, a flashback right now and I really just wanna pick up on that. But we'll see. I do not want no jealous girlfriend thing going on in here, please. I think um, it also, if Puck, I mean, I love Puck, but I don't want him to come back. Because that would make that goodbye so meaningless. Yeah. You know? Well, maybe not like come back, back, but maybe then, like, you know. A, like help here and there, oh like Deus, a flashback Deus Ex or something. Puck. <laughs> Deus Ex. <laughs> he has been Deus Ex Puck sometimes. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I, we don't know what's going to happen. I think we're just going to jump right in. Guys, remember, this is not a market substitute. Please nope. support the official release yep. in sub or dub. Watch it how you like it on Crunchyroll. That's how we're doing it. That's how you can, too. And then come back and join us for uh, our reactions, discussions, and reviews. We love it when you guys hang out with us. And you can hang out with us even more on our Patreon. Check yeah. out oh, yeah. if you want to get ahead on these episodes, watch the uncuts or all the other shows that you guys watch with us. Check out our Patreon. we got lots of good stuff on there for you guys. And, uh, you know, comment below, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that, tell your friends about us. We're trying to get to a million, baby. Baby million. <laughs> Let's go. Half a million. Well, we're trying to get, yeah. If, if, yeah, we're actually really close to half. Now. I don't know why I looked at my watch. I don't know yeah, why. I, on I don't know. I, got, I picked that up from Nubby, apparently. It's a thing now. Stared. You want to, like, uh, Well, do Nubby any... doesn't even have a watch, and she's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we're so old, guys. We are so fucking old. Please oh, shit. Neely. She was in the thing, too. In the thing. I'm sorry. That's Puck's voice. Why are you crying? Because no. I just no. you all alone. Never mind. Oh, it is Puck! Oh my god! Wait. Right here, okay? This is how the frozen bond started, isn't it? Yeah. Damn, make a better ear than me. Yeah, this is how the movie started. With Mediator Melaquaro. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I am glad we watched that movie, though. Oh, yeah. I'm assuming this is no ordinary tree. It was something you desperately wanted to keep locked up inside it. This is the princess room. I was often sent here to play back when I was little. All oh, right. The I princess room? I mean, sounds dark. Just walk through it inside? She was sent away here? Apparently. Seems like they wanted to, like, lock her inside. Is that mom's? Baby Amelia. Oh my god. That silver hair of yours is exactly like my brother's. However, I believe your gentle features come from your mother's side. Because everyone from my side has mean eyes. My real parents were always too busy with their responsibilities to make time for me. Which meant that most of my days were spent in her care. So she's not her mother? What? Mm. Oh, she could always see spirits. Uh, no, don't go. I mean, that's fair logic. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's the. Yeah. They are helping? That's the boys. The what? things you don't know. Thank you. You've done so much for us time and time again. That isn't necessary. 
<gasps> I know we've brought you more than your share. Of Shut the fuck gifts. up. Well, the same could also be said for us. Gifts. Gifts? But you know who that looks also, like. Yeah. I know that I ask this every time we meet. But does the seal remain intact? Yes, don't worry. There have been no changes. What the fuck? Miss Fortuna. Oh. All the items have been transferred. Thank you, Archie. I appreciate it. What the heck happened? Because okay. it's definitely Beetlejuice. I almost forgot to ask you about Miss Amelia. Does she remain in good health? No need to worry. She's growing into a very kind-hearted and healthy young lady. A sinner such as myself wouldn't ever dare to ask for anything more than that. What the so, hell? Please know that we're extremely grateful to you. And I truly mean that. That's kind of you to say. Your words of praise alone would surely carry me through a hundred years of turmoil. What the? This is just crazy right yeah, now. What is, I'm like, what, I'm what, not what happened to them? I don't know, what dude. Betrayal? Here? Yeah, well, how they... Corruption? I don't know. Like, their, their whole order is fucked. I need to go and free a little princess who must be getting pretty bored. <laughs> yeah, run back. <laughs> So the princess room is somewhere to hid her. Yeah. Like literally like Shrek. Why are you so flustered? <laughs> She's smart. Oh, look how cute. Clever. <laughs> Just a catastrophic failure. Sorry. Honestly, you worry about things too much. You don't need to be Why don't you let her go outside? They were, they were protecting her from the transgressors. What? I, I don't From know. From Bilgris? Yeah. They don't want her to meet him. I have to say, Amelia's been so full of energy lately. She's always coming home with her clothes all muddy. But do you have adult clothes too? Yes, of course we do. So why not take a look? I'm sure we have something that would be lovely on you. We may have known each other a long time, but there's no need to embarrass me with comments like that. What? I only spoke what I felt to be the truth. Was there something strange about how I said it? This is just so interesting to me right now, guys. <laughs> this is great. Hey, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I, I was just remembering something. There was once a time when you seemed unhappy while talking to me, and it turned out you had a rather high fever. <laughs> not long now, though. Come on, you're just being silly. That was decades ago. Stop treating me like a child. Damn, so they're both old as fuck. How old is Goose? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, does the seal still remain in place? Just as always. Yeah. Never been in the seal. Wait, what seal? This is Puck, right? Or just like a spirit? I mean, Some spirit? I, I feel like it's Puck. That would be hella cool, but you know. The fuck? Is that the seal? Narnia. Strange to see when I'm here. What? What's she saying? This is the seal. We don't have subtitles, guys. We'll rewind this is back. This is what we've been talking about? What? No! I don't want to be here. Go back. <laughs> My life is over. Oh, come on. You're way too damn depressed about this. I was going for broke and being serious for once. <laughs> <laughs> Even though most things were sorted out, we still put off the most important part. What are you referring to exactly? Well, it is a subject that is quite unavoidable if you truly wish to liberate the sanctuary. What? I I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Just stay here for the rest of the episode. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> this door's strange. I want it fall over. I don't understand how it works. This is stranger danger. You need an adult. Yay! This whole thing is Mother Fortuna's fault. And it's Goose's fault, too. Okay, time to go home. <laughs> Today, I think I'll feed this guy red. And then he's late for the whole forest. Oh. oh. Well. That means you saw something. Red and white? Oh my god, I'm scared. This is quite a problem. I might not make it by the appointed time. No. No! <laughs> oh, he's not supposed to see her. No. You did a terrible job hiding. Please, sir, I beg you to let me on my way and show mercy. Wait. 
Don't tell me that you're... No. You can't be hurt. I'm freaking out. Calm down. You okay, Gus? <gasps> no, God. What? Yes. I'm fine. Of course. Yes. I couldn't be better. Nothing is wrong in the slightest. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Stranger danger. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm so happy. And I feel elated. I'm truly blessed. All of this joy can sometimes bring warm tears to one's eyes. But why? <laughs> it's alright, kiss. Yes. Easy. It's alright. Oh my god. I know there are so many things like this that I've forgotten. It's still hard. Not too long ago, I wouldn't have been able to accept this. But now it's different. You're opting to abandon depending on a man or father figure. Even though it's so typical of a filthy woman like you. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Dying claws. Regardless of your path, I will simply find satisfaction in your suffering. The trial that broke you once is beginning for real. Oh no. Oh no. Please wait, Miss Amelia. It's dangerous to run around like that. That's a big... Oh my god! <laughs> I just wish she would avoid doing anything too dangerous. If she could jump around in her home, healthy and bathed in sunlight, with no concerns about hurting herself or breaking things. Yes. Huh? Come on. That wouldn't exactly be easy. Well, for Miss Amelia's sake, I only wish there was some way to. Some way to just. <laughs> hey! Uh oh. Yeah, he's starting to lose it, bro. His mind is trembling. His brain? <laughs> Listen carefully. A promise is the embodiment of trust. And to break it is to betray that trust. I want you to swear that we'll do your best to keep your vows from this moment on. Alright. I will. I really, really sorry, Mother. Oh, baby Amelia is just too cute. Something wrong with that boy. Yep. <laughs> the boy ain't right. Are these lesser spirits? I can't believe how many there are. A wonderful surprise indeed. Miss Amelia possesses the natural talent to be a spirit user. Lesser spirits? Those who communicate with them, form contracts with them, and borrow their powers are known as spirit users. Maybe, but that sounds like it could be dangerous. Can't let my sweet Amelia. Listen, I'm on Gus's side today. He says I'm going to be a spirit user, so there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the way that you two are carrying on, you're acting like a mommy and daddy. Oh, oh hey, no. Hey, no. Don't, don't say silly things like that. Gus and I have known each other for a long time. Yes, that's right, Miss Amelia. As long as I have. Even Miss Fortuna has known each other for a long time. Yes, that's right, Miss Amelia. No, wow. That going to <laughs> <laughs> Damn, how old is Goose you know Boy? No, wait, I didn't mean to. Just poor phrasing. I'm sorry. Of course, I'm quite aware of your precise age. What I was trying to say, though poorly, is that I've known Miss Fortuna for a long, long time. More years than you could imagine. In fact, I've known her since the days when your mother and father... <gasps> Goose! Uh, oh, forgive me. Oh. But what about my mother and father? Forbidden topics. I'm sorry. Amelia, huh? we'll talk about that another time. And if you're extra extra good, I'll let you see Goose again soon too, alright? It's good enough for me. Thank you. We'll go back to my room now. Aww. I'll see you soon, Goose. Just be sure not to cry too much, alright? <laughs> Make it a promise until we both meet again. As you wish. Because I'm certain we'll meet again soon as well. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you know. That is so sad. I know. What the fuck like, happened? How did he get the way he was when What's we approaching? met him? Who are you? All the spirits left? Is that is that the elf guy? Is elf that boy? Archie? Elf boy? No. Who's Archie? This looks like somebody else, the elf boy. This music. Oh, is this the guy we saw in the beginning? At the beginning oh, of the yeah. season. I do believe when you want to know someone's name, it's considered common courtesy to give your own first, is it not? 
What gives you the right to demand my name ahead of yours? What the you fuck? You're so much better than I am. I think I've heard enough. <laughs> for a man, you sure like talking a lot, don't you? Ooh. For a man, you thanks for showing me you don't even know any man you could possibly compare me to. Ooh. My, what an attitude. I can't just let that slide you. Doing so would mean disrespecting my individuality, my authority, and my... I said enough! Hey, buddy. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> ah. I'm the Sin Archbishop of the Witches Cult, representing Breed. Regulus Corneas. Representing Echidna, then, right? Yeah. Hey, this Drama. was a good episode. Ah, don't look. Ah, oh god, don't look up. Witches cult. So, is Betelgeuse not in the witches cult right now? Because he's wearing the same shit. Um, I thought that was their attire. That's what I think. I think. What happened to him? I am. Uh, I am thoroughly. This was confused. such a good episode. I, I know like in the beginning when we did the intro, I said, "Oh no, I hope it's not a flashback episode." But this was a great flashback. Well, you know, it's. Episode. I did want. To I like the Emilia focused yeah. stuff. I, I enjoyed the Frozen Bond movie. I liked this yes, episode. That was my favorite. Yeah, this was so I, uh, good. Let me. So I want. Here, to... can we just talk about the one thing and get it out of the way? Because everything else is gonna be about Amelia. Super real quick. Let's just get that out of the way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to be whatever. There's just like a lot of Amelia stuff that yeah, happened. Yeah, I don't even honestly. Subaru, I, they, I, he wrote a love letter. As uh, as I feel you, bro. You know, I tried to write a letter, love letter once or twice in my life. You know, I think everybody's been there. Yeah, yeah. I wrote a love letter to Backstreet Boys. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like to them as a group, all did, of them. Did you send it? Did you send it? No, it was in check. Oh. I could. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. I was five years old. They're rich enough to have translators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, they would definitely go out of their way. Oh my god! Please, please give us a gem from the letter. Do you have it? Do you remember? I don't have it. She was five, Mickey. Well, I, was, I mean, you know, I mean, you, could, you could remember. You're like. I literally just I knew, like, I, fucking, I just barely knew the alphabet, and like, <laughs> come on. That and is then, hysterical. and now he's gonna meet their. Uh, they came up to him, the twins that came up, and they're like, "You gotta meet somebody." So he's gonna go meet somebody now. Yeah. I, I don't know who it is. I forgot. Yeah. And that was it. Cool. Okay. Okay. So um, the dream world. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Before we start into the discussion, I just need to clarify this part right here. What? Oh, the, the brother and sister. Yeah. So Chelsea, you don't have to resync this, but we're for the audience. We're going back to when we first saw Goose in this episode, and Goose. he was talking to. Honk. Honk. <laughs> okay. So right here, some important dialogue. You were a crow. You've done so much for us time and time again. That isn't necessary. I know we've brought you more than your share of inconveniences. Well, the same could also be said for us. Yes. Yes. Also, I know that I ask this every time we meet. Mm. But does the seal remain intact? Yes, don't worry. There have been no changes. And it needs to stay that way. If the worst were to happen, I could never face my brother and sister. Your brother and his wife, you mean? It's all right. I'm aware of that. But no matter the circumstances, I mustn't forget the responsibility I've been tasked to carry. Yeah, bro. So is um, Emilia, That's what I understood. So Amelia is an incest baby? I mean, but I... But, like, they also said that she's the daughter of the witch. Right. So what? Is her sister the witch, then? I mean, maybe they're just, like, uh... That's my interpretation, is, like... But she was, like... They also said that she's half-elf. Right. So how the fuck is she an incest baby? Could it be a brother and a sister from two separate families? Like one elf, one human? Or something like that? I don't know. My interpretation is like... There's some... Uh, I, I hope that you guys <laughs> were as confused as we were by episode 32. If things were discovered later on that we I don't know about, please don't judge that we're confused. Yeah. Because we were given a lot of different information. So oh, I yeah. I mean, that was the most confused. That brother sister was the most confusing thing for me, and I hope they clarify that. But other than like, that, I think by, everything was fun. Even by her reaction, she was like, oh, oh that's yeah, okay. Like, I, I, I understand the circumstances. Yeah. But so, like, I don't know. That's my interpretation right now is, is there's some incestual things happening. yeah and goose knows them and fortuna is their other sibling and the seal is very important and it can't be broken otherwise bad shit will happen but so probably the seal is broken they all got frozen is that maybe where the representative came from the representative oh because like amelia a young amelia was at the gate alone mm -hmm. before she ran into Be beetle goose yeah but i thought that was like later on like a few days later Maybe it was on the same day. I don't know. I don't know. But um, 
I don't I don't know. There's something under I I think they're keeping Amelia in that room to keep her like protected cuz even Goose was like, "Oh, she shouldn't be out here playing. She could hurt herself." Like, I don't know that they're necess- I don't, I just I don't know what what it is about know, her man. that uh is a little lost on me, but I'm interested to know what Ooh, look at the title of the next episode. <laughs> what? No, what? The, oh. the, the day Beta Day Beetlejuice Loft. Oh. Oh, that's when <laughs> Man, went down. okay. This is this is very sad because Beetlejuice seems like a really nice person here <laughs> and I like I remember just like wanting him to die already do you remember how long it took for him to get killed yes yeah, and, he, and how he, he was he, chasing the, the he turned into a thing yeah yeah he was like a fucking kraken <laughs> like magic like, after trend. effect yeah, but, but now, like, this, what the fuck happened to him? Man? I don't know, because, like, you saw What's him. That? He was, like, you know, even though he's, like, he was a transgressor, is bringing merch and food and clothes to this little town here. Like, he was being so helpful and, like, you know, um, like, yeah. I don't know. I think that the word transgressor and sinner are used loosely here. Yeah. Like, just, like, I think that their monastery or guild or whatever mm-hmm. is just like their religion is just like based on sin yeah like, you know, because but this they is what are, they're doing is not a sin man they're doing such good deeds right here yeah it's, but like the people who helping. join the, that church are like like making you, you, up for their sins they're making up for gotcha their sins, i'm basically. sorry sorry yeah, yeah, I, no, I, no. No, I had that was terrible no no you're, like, you're fine explain. i get that i think that's great of them like they're all there and you saw like you know when we first saw him like ask about amelia like she didn't want fortuna didn't want him to see her yet kind of thing she's like i pa- i'm sorry but i can't allow you to see her just yet and he was like that's totally fine like as long as she's okay and happy and healthy living a good life i'm mm-hmm. like damn man it's big of him i mean i don't know why they couldn't see each other yet well, maybe but obviously in the he, end they did yeah what if it's like time served like in in that church mm-hmm. like what if they're all like sinners as in like criminals maybe they're like making up for what they did in the past yeah, yeah. maybe mm-hmm. that's why she didn't want Amelia to be seen because she would be like worried they would do something to her mm-hmm. no it makes sense even though they're like doing good things right now they can still be like that she might still have like an underlying fear of something that happened in the past oh that's totally understandable I know I would if I had a kid yeah yeah I like um, the whole concept of the dream world though and everything. Yes. Um, the princess room was definitely just like a, sh- a Princess Fiona kind of like thing in Shrek where you like they locked her away there. Right, yeah. That's what it felt like to me. And then the talks at the end about like spirit user. Is that having anything to do with like what Subaru is doing right now? Because they were talking about like they can make contracts and like are the witches considered spirits or is that like a separate thing because like i think that's a different a separate thing. i mean thing. are they though because there because are seven be- witches because like i mean they're, they're called because when how super met them there were the, the spirit figure spirits of them it wasn't their like physical form yeah and they were here because talking they're about all making dead. making contracts yeah. and being able to use their powers and that's what we've seen super do but I don't want to get that wrong. <laughs> I see. I don't know. I, it I could think be. That might be complicating things. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I want to. I think I might have to agree with Marquette on this one. It feels like it's completely different, different thing. than these little lesser spirits and stuff. But then oh, again, right. well, they're yeah, called I mean, the lesser wi- spirits, yeah, and the, maybe witches are other bigger spirits. That's maybe what I'm you're saying. right. Yeah, yeah. The witches yeah. aren't lesser spirits, yeah. but like I'm talking about just like. So maybe you the, are the right stipu- too. The stipulations of being able to make contracts and yeah. use their powers because yeah. that, that's literally what he's doing. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, yeah, I like this episode. I think. Oh, uh, I loved it. We're close to the end, so like things are moving a little faster, which I like. Uh-huh. I really like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, I mean, now yeah, we're. I, I just like Amelia's story. Just, uh, I, I enjoy her episodes, and like anytime it's focused on her. Yeah. To be TBH. Same Baby um, Amelia and all with her little. Me. So cute. <laughs> I love her. Oh my god. Um, and now we're gonna be. With Regulus Cornelius. <laughs> Regulus Cornelius. That's his name. He's a bi- bishop of, uh, of greed. Like, oh my god, I'm so dead at that. Yeah, so I wonder if, that's like, a, he's representing greed and yeah. Echidna is there with Amelia. So it's all connected so, so hard, so dude. So that can't be a coincidence. No, everything's super connected. Like, once we saw Geese there and everything, <clears throat> I'm like, all right, this is, like, creepily connected. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know how. Maybe it was just, like, a really... I mean, I guess they set this up like a while ago. Like it's just interesting that we met Beetlejuice like so long um, ago. Did you, when you looked at Beetlejuice, did he remind you of the 
the girl we saw yep. all the way back. Yep, with the green hair. The warrior. With the green hair. Yeah, right? yeah that's exa- Yeah, I was about Kr- to say. Krush? Krush. Krush. Yeah, Krush. Oh, no. I, I know. Same, same green hair, same kind of like. Oh, look. no, I really thought of Goose because the name and, and the hair. I'm like. Yeah, but like, the, he has the, the same hair, the same eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I was, now I see it. Like, this Goose with her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that like they might be related, but like maybe they're from like the same. I don't know. It, it just did seem a lot from of sim- the same region? similarities yeah. in the character design. Yeah, definitely. The same color scheme. And even used. like uh, I don't know his his demeanor was even of like the knights. You know, like the way he's talking yeah. and carrying himself is very yeah. like polite. Mm-hmm. Although I wonder, so he's older than her, Amelia's mom, and she's, I thought she Fortuna was older than him. No. But, he was like, because he was talking about like, you know, her being a ch- like, to me, you're a mere child. Like, I've been alive so long that. To oh, remember? you're right. Yeah, so yeah. like, he's he's way older than her. So I just I just wonder how old they are, even at this point. You know, mm-hmm. like, I it's got to be like the way they're talking. They're talking about like decades ago. It's uh, I feel like they're like in the hundreds. Of oh, year, for sure. In the hundreds of years old, maybe. And maybe. I wonder how long Amelia is going to live and be, you know. How old is she already? You know, I right? Know. How long has she lived? Yeah. I mean, if they're elves, elves are like known to live long. A long time. Yeah. Man, that would be so cool. There's a... I'm, I'm playing... I'm replaying Mass Effect right now. And there's a race uh, in there called the Asari. And they live on average like a thousand years. Oh my so God. like... So like throughout the game, you meet like Asari that are like maybe in their like three hundreds, and they're still considered like adolescent. Like, Aww. <laughs> man, I wish I was that. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. That's like I, man, I think that'd be a cool compromise to immortality. I if I had the chance to live for a thousand years, I'd take that in a heartbeat. Same, geez, heartbeat. me too. A million years here. Yeah, I, I'd take. I'd, yeah, oh. I don't want to live forever, but I I'd, do. I'd, I'd live for like a very very long time. What if like living forever means though, like when the planet blows up, that you're just like floating in space, space floating. No, no, that's not vacuum. And you, and no, you can't no, just no. like do anything. No, no, no. then I will off <laughs> you myself. You just like swim to the no, next. No, I will off myself. <laughs> you can't swim. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Going like to a probably... black hole. <laughs> you're just stuck. Just flailing in space forever. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess you could try to fart there's and propel a, yourself. Oh no. my god! There's a there's a Futurama episode for you. Oh yeah! Oh my god! We need to watch Futurama, dude. Now mm-hmm. oh, there's a show. Uh, all right, guys. Well, we're gonna move on and find out how Beetlejuice lost his shit. Yep. The day he laughed. And I think it's gonna have to do with the guy that just showed up. Um, with Cornelius. Yeah. All right. We'll see you there, YouTube. If you want to move on there right now, it's on our Patreon. If not, we'll see you next week. Peace. Bye. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for watching, and a big shout out to Raga, Michelle, Zakeith, Clayton, Mr. Mamas, Joe Mags, Robert, Keyboard Junkie. Thanks guys!